please introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Ivan Lukovic and I'm coming from University of Novi Sad and Faculty of Technical Sciences. Actually, it's School of Engineering and uh, my expertise is in the area of information systems and databases. I'm lecturer here for more than 20 years, so now I'm here as one of the persons who are involved in the projects of data science at my faculty. Tell us, uh, please, uh, what is it like to create a data science curriculum from scratch? Uh, it's hard to say that one uh, course in data science can be created from scratch in a very rude uh, meaning of that word, uh, as you must have resources at your institution to do that. It means not all disciplines in data science are new, modern. Normally we have uh, very many topics and knowledge here included, which is very well known for centuries and for years. And you must have developed uh, human resources, professors, assistants in many areas areas that participate in data science. Uh, what is new, what it is uh, that really we uh, create from scratch, it's a composition of all those knowledge here. So in that way we also acted at our, at our Faculty of Technical Sciences when we created our course, uh, our curriculum in data science. It means that we related uh, people from the area of computer science normally and computing in general. So people fr uh, from applied mathematics at our faculty, people from telecom communications, industrial engineering and management uh, and all the other mechanics, all the other disciplines that really need to participate in data science. It's, it's an issue how to put all those people together to sit on the same table and to discuss issues and topics which are very, very important how to create data science. So, uh, what do you think good data scientists need regarding the skills and the knowledge? Maybe the most important word from my point of view how any curriculum in data science should look like is uh, a word of the interdisciplinarity and multidisciplinarity. It's not just uh, one profession in traditional uh, sense as we looked at professions maybe 20 years ago or 10 years ago. So it means that we must combine knowledge from computer science, software engineering, informatics. So backbone of computer science from my point of view is a strong backbone also for a data scientist. Uh, it's not just the only viewpoint how people look at the notion of data scientist, but from my point of view it's something that is possible and something that is important especially for people who come to this area from computer science in general. So the next thing are uh, knowledge in mathematics, applied mathematics and statistics. So some mathematicians will say that statistics is even not a part of mathematics. We can discuss about that. But mathematics and statistics in many sense should be included. Modern mathematics including theory of graphs, then combinatorics, then uh, mathematical logic must be included inside combinatorics, I said. Also optimization theory, then operational research. Uh, who are the disciplines uh, that we can uh, understand as mathematician disciplines, but also those are very general engineering disciplines. Also, you need some knowledge from uh, communicology and psychology, uh, knowledge about organization system design management, uh, knowledge about some problem domains is very important. As we uh, talk about problems, do problem domains, we can discuss about everything that is attractive now in our uh, current life, including finances, including distribution and management systems, including power distribution system, including telecommunication uh, sector, uh, insurance sector, gaming industry, and so on. Just I, I listed just a couple of those disciplines, so it depends on your imagination what would be a matter of data science today. How do you think um, academic and educational uh, facilities uh, could cooperate uh, with uh, the industry regarding data science? Uh, this is a question from my point that's very hot uh, in general in computer science and information technologies and we always fight how to uh, provide a better understanding of both sides in that process. In data science I believe that these questions is even more hot. Uh, it means that all problems that data scientists should resolve are practical problems. Problems of how to apply some theory so, to some problem domain. So you need really strong knowledge in application domain, in computer science, in mathematics, in other related dis uh, disciplines in, in the area of, I don't know, data series processing and 
so on. So if you would like, would like to put all of that together, I think it's impossible to have power just on one side and not to have a power on the other side. So Academy has its own power in, in human resources and also people from industry has another kind of power which is very important. It means that we must have opportunities in the future to involve people from industry to participate in the education process in the data science. Uh, it means that we can devote, I don't know, a part of some course, especially at master level courses, to some experts from industry to say something about real projects, problem that they resolve. Also, we may combine some people also assisting in the education process and to have some people working for industry and being assistant at the same time at faculties. So those are modalities that we should uh, develop somehow. Uh, in this moment in Serbia, I believe also in the region here, uh, those opportunity, opportunities are undeveloped. It means that we have some enthusiastic steps, but in general we have not really a systematic way how to involve people from industry in our academic sector. On the other hand side, we should know that if you want to be a professor, lecturer at university, it means a very strong procedure. We cannot uh, devaste that procedure and say, yes, it cannot be for the future applied but on the other hand side we must have some kind of elasticity to devote a part of the courses to real experts uh, learning students how really will apply the knowledge in, in, in industry do you think is the biggest obstacle of uh, not engaging more people from the industry and what do you like what are your ideas of how to engage them more in the in the ac academic um, uh, curriculums and studies. Normally you must have an environment which is established by law about higher education here. Then you must have an organizational culture of understanding that it's something important. And the third, and from my point of view, the most important problem, having enough resources for that. Because we don't have enough resources now for education, even at academy level, and we do not have enough experts in industry. All of us are engaged in our real operational everyday tasks and uh, we really do not have enough time to devote our efforts to the other side. So if we have even now a much wider room for application of such collaboration, if we would try to find people, to search for people who will participate in that process, it would not be easy to find enough people. So I believe that developing uh, good experts in the area from both sides, it's a task of industry as well as uh, a task of academy, and it's, from my point, uh, impossible just to locate the resolving of that problem just on one side and saying, okay, academy will produce such uh, experts, our industry will produce such experts, we must do in cooperation and together to resolve all those problems. It, it will take for it will take time for that. It's uh, not not to expect that we resolve anything in half a year or one year. But we must we must have a strategy. We must have good ideas, and then we must have a plan how to develop those ideas step by step in a future time and say, okay, in three years, in five year, years, we will be really better than we are now. Where is, uh, in your opinion, in the academic world of Serbia, um, uh, where is their understanding of data science? Uh, in general, it's a hard question because we do not have real analysis to say, yes, we are better or we are worse. And also there are many parameters by which me, we may analyze our situation. Only in all, uh, I will say that Serbia has a chance now, has a very good chance. So uh, at the level of uh, academy, at the level of industry in Serbia, we have a very good understanding now of the notion of data science and what is the impact of data science on the whole society development all in all. So, we do not have problem with that. Uh, we have problems how to implement that idea and how to become competitive. Uh, if we look at our universities, at faculties, I believe that we have a lot of resources and power that we can put in the goal of data science here. And even uh, we do not, we are not so late uh, in comparing to the most uh, developed countries. For example, 
we at uh, Faculty of Technical Sciences developed and accredited our study program in information engineering, actually in data science, even in 2015. This year we initiated the first generation of students uh, employing this program. It's a number of 60 students now and we are very proud with that. And let's to say it's just a year when MIT started the last year, Stanford started the last year, some other institutions started, I don't know, a couple of years before. But when we accredited that program in 2014, really, you should uh, in those times have invested a lot of efforts in finding related institutions with the similar programs. Now, just if you type at your, uh, type at your Google uh, search engine for data science education, you will find a, a huge list of institutions offering it in this way or that way. But in the region, we are also one of the first institutions starting with that program. And in that say, sense, we, uh, I'm, I, I'm proud to say that we are not late. Also, I believe that our industry is not late. Also, if we look at many sectors here, especially in Belgrade, working with uh, many data science problems. But uh, when we performed some analysis in our IT industry here in Serbia about recognition of uh, data science in general and asking them about uh, where we are in comparison to the region here, uh, about more, more than 60 percent of answers was that they do not know. Even uh, I think that it's not so good not to compare yourself with someone else, not because of someone else, but to know where you are now in this moment. And uh, from that point, I believe that we should many things, uh, we should do many things to improve our recognition of data science. So all in all, not bad, but we need a good strategy. As I already said, we need a clear idea what to do. And we have a new chance to become one of the leaders uh, in that area, as we have very traditional schools with very strong knowledge in fundamental disciplines just to put them uh, as an instrument to, to, to educate well uh, positioned people in data science. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.